Buckmore's Dam is the largest dam of its type east of the Mississippi and is located on the Genesee River near the village of Mount Morris in Livingston County, New York. It is different from other dams because water only builds behind it during high water events. Each summer, when the water is low, a team moves in with heavy equipment and removes the sediment and floatable materials that have accumulated behind the dam and what's called the debris boom. The sediment that's removed from in front of the conduits is hauled upstream and placed in the floodplain. Tires and other man-made objects are separated out and recycled where possible. The tree trunks, branches, and other organic materials are ground up by the contractor, loaded into trucks, and hauled up, the, up out of the valley. And this year we're taken to one of the uh, local prisons as part of their composting project. In April 2015, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Buffalo District awarded a five-year, $1.7 million contract to Strock Enterprises Limited of Cheektowaga, New York for the removal of floatable material and sediment from the upstream side of the dam. Of that $1.7 million contract, $340,000 will be used this year to remove approximately 3,500 cubic yards of floatable material and approximately 12,000 cubic yards of sediment from the upstream side of the dam. Congress authorized the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to build Mount Morris Dam in the Flood Control Act of 1944 at a cost of $24 million to prevent damage to the city of Rochester, New York and areas south during severe flooding events. Removing the debris from in front of the dam on an annual basis ensures that the dam can be operated properly as designed during high water events. Since 1952 when the dam was completed, it's estimated that some two billion dollars worth of flood damages have been avoided over the 67 river miles between the village of Mount Morris and the city of Rochester.